Hi, my name is Nancy Wilson. Welcome to Wilson Counseling. Today we're going to be talking about coping with emotional eating. A lot of us eat for reasons other than the fact that we're hungry. We might be feeling tired or angry, maybe you've had a hard day or you want to celebrate. We use food in an emotional way and there can be consequences to that. Maybe you've put on extra pounds or you're ignoring your real needs, so those needs are going unmet. So I want to talk a little bit today about some questions you can ask yourself to help you stop that kind of emotional eating and use and to stop using food as the only coping mechanism that you have. So first you want to check in with yourself when you feel like grabbing that bowl of ice cream or a candy bar or a bag of chips, whatever it is, or even healthy food. It doesn't matter. If you're not hungry and you're eating, then you're using food in a way that it wasn't meant to be used. So before you grab that food, ask yourself, am I biologically hungry? Am I feeling hungry in my body? So you're gonna have to check in with your body, notice if you're feeling hunger anywhere. And if you are hungry, which is sometimes gonna be the case, then honor that hunger by getting something to eat. Uh, you also want to check and see if you are hungry. How hungry am I? Maybe I just need a snack or maybe it's time to eat something a little bit more substantial and then you want to honor that. But if you're not hungry, you want to go to question number two. So the second thing you want to ask yourself is, if I'm not hungry, what am I feeling? When I'm reaching for food and I'm not hungry, what am I feeling? To help yourself figure that out, you could write out your feelings, call a friend, you could even uh, you know, record into your phone what you're feeling. You could talk to a counselor or a therapist, and it may be pretty easy to figure out. You know, I'm, right now I'm feeling really exhausted, or I'm lonely, you know, I'm really anxious. And all of those things are needs that you, know, that you wanna handle, that you wanna take care of. Food is not going to make it better. It may feel good for a little bit to grab that bowl of ice cream and eat it, but you're still lonely at the end of the bowl of ice cream. So you wanna ask yourselves, what am I feeling? So let's say I'm feeling exhausted. I've been working too hard. Um, I haven't been sleeping enough. I've been anxious. Then maybe what I need is rest. And so I can allow myself to take a nap or take a hot bath to relax. Even going for a walk will feel like rest to me if it's not a very vigorous walk or exercise. So think about what your needs are and how you can meet those needs. When you give yourself permission to meet your actual needs, you're gonna feel so much better and you're gonna feel more in control and you're gonna be less likely to use food as your only coping mechanism. So instead of reaching for food, ask yourself, am I hungry? And if I'm not hungry, what am I feeling? Based on what you're feeling, that's going to tell you what your unmet need is. And then you have to give yourself permission to say, it's okay to take time out from work or from the kids or from whatever it is you're doing. And if you're tired, rest. Or if you're lonely, call a friend. If you're anxious, maybe you can do some deep breathing, for example. So there's, there's always something that's gonna help you start to feel better. But you want to meet the actual need that you have and don't just assume food is gonna be the comfort for everything because it, it just isn't and it leaves you feeling disempowered at the end of it. We all engage in emotional eating, but you can start taking control of that and in the process, learn more about yourself, be more gentle to yourself, and get your actual needs met. I hope this was helpful for you. Look forward to talking to you soon.